Hi, my name is Casey Cole. I'm a retired Marine Sergeant Major with 32 years of service, and I wasn't sitting behind a desk. I was a mud marine. I was a trigger puller, not a pencil pusher. I have served in over 17 countries in this in the world, around the world, in combat actions of some sort or another, whether in declared war or non-declared wars or overt or covert operations. I've been shot, stabbed, I've survived two suicide bombings, including the Beirut 1983 and a personal attempt at a suicide bomber from about three feet in a Middle Eastern country more recently. I was held prisoner of war, I've been tortured, I was beaten, my teeth were filed in nothing. As a torture, they would come in and file the teeth to expose the raw nerve and then put frozen needles into the raw nerve, the raw exposed nerve. Thankfully, and by what means I do not know, I was able to maintain strength to eventually, after an extended period of time in torture, overcome my torture during a moment of carelessness on their part and escape. Upon returning home, after being hit by the last suicide bomber, on June 1st of this year, I began having some pain in my stomach that was very unusual. And it would not go away no matter what I did, no matter what I took for it. I went to a hospital, I finally reported an emergency room on June 1st. The pain was so bad that I could not walk upright. I had to walk bent over and with assistance. Finally went to an emergency room and was told that I had gallstones that I had gallbladder attack. I reported to the VA the following Thursday. I had an appointment at the VA and I saw my doctor. And in the course of seeing my doctor during a regular appointment, I had mentioned what had happened at the uh, emergency room in Santa Rosa. And his attending physician came in just several minutes later, dragged me out by the hand and said, we're going to the emergency room now. We're going to admit you and take care of this. Now, they admitted me overnight, then sent me home. I came back a couple of weeks later, had some more tests done, some imaging. They scheduled me for a um, laparoscopic cholecystectomy, where they were going to go in and take out the gallbladder laparoscopically. We That morning, I showed up for surgery. They put me under. They made the incisions, inflated the abdomen, put in the cameras. The doctor looked around, backed out, closed me up told me in the recovery room we got in but we didn't take anything out there's abnormal anatomy there we need to do more imaging we need to find out more I went through a series of other tests and they found not only did I have some very large gallstones but I also had some abnormal masses which had completely rotated my gallbladder around 180 degrees from the growth of the masses um, they went in and did an open incision and the incision as I like to say, they gutted me like a fish on a dock, as you can see. They removed the gallbladder, they removed four tumors, left six, and diagnosed me with pancreatic cancer, advanced metastatic pancreatic cancer, and told me I'd be dead in four to six weeks. There was absolutely no treatment that they had which would save my life. There was nothing on this planet which could save my life. Well, I beg to differ. I'm alive today, seven months later, still walking around, getting healthy, gaining weight, becoming more active, self-sufficient, more, much more self-sufficient, because I use cannabis. Cannabis is illegal in the state that I live in now. I have a legal medical marijuana card from California, from the most reputable doctor in the Bay Area, according to 60 Minutes and 2020 investigative journalism. Um, and I have the blessing of my doctor from the VA who was involved in the surgery. I was told by her that whatever you're doing, it's working. I'm not going to interfere. As long as it continues to work, I'm staying out of it. Keep doing what you're doing. It's saving your life. Above the incision, just two weeks ago, was extremely inflamed and hard as a rock. Just in using the oil and smoking for pain control, it is now reduced. It's, the swelling has gone down visibly, 
dramatically just in a couple of weeks and it's now soft and it's much much softer and it's now flexible when I push on it before there was no give whatsoever it was like pushing on a piece of furniture a piece of wood furniture it just did not move had no budge um, like I said I'm gaining weight I feel better I'm able to sleep better and also the VA had me for post-traumatic stress disorder on 16 different psychiatric medications combinations I take none now I smoke two or three hits before I go to bed if I have a bad nightmare at night it's not to where I wake up screaming yelling thrashing or fighting or any of that nature but if I do have one that leaves me feeling very unsettled one or two hits off the pipe I go back to sleep and I sleep fine I'm able to go back to sleep whereas before I was up that was it and that usually happened in the first half hour of my sleep so I was getting a half hour of sleep at a time um, I'm sleeping better now I'm healthier I'm more alert it's cannabis they are cannabinoids we have an endocannabinoid system our receptors on our neural pathways which are designed to receive cannabis cannabinoids this causes our nervous system to produce the endorphins and hormones and the other chemicals which fight and kill cancer yes it kills cancer it's been proven Harvard just released a study it kills cancer um, it's illegal for the most ridiculous reasons which I won't even start to get into the politics because it could take hours to co even cover the beginnings of the politics but the bottom line is government Congress it's my medicine back off it's natural it's a plant what part of this do you not understand it is safe it is non-toxic not one death not one has ever been associated with the use of cannabis thousands of deaths a year in the VA alone from the opioids that they prescribe for the pain for the conditions which they cannot treat like mine I've been terminal for seven months and I'm getting better without the chemicals without the poisons the toxins we don't need it I don't need your medicine let me grow my own that's it